Hi, I'm Linda Ruth from PSCS, and I wanted to talk to you today about your newsstand covers. I'm going to make a series of videos for you talking about ways you can win with your newsstand covers and ways you can increase your newsstand sales using your cover as a marketing tool as well as an editorial tool. You know, print publishing has taken a real beating lately. I think a lot of publishers have lost faith in their print product and especially in their newsstand sales. There's so many shiny bright things out there now, new prizes to chase and catch, but I work every day with um, magazine publishers on their internet marketing and also with internet marketers who may not have a print product at all. And I'll tell you something, print still has prestige. Even with people who who do all of their marketing on the internet, who are so-called internet gurus or internet wizards, there still is prestige involved in having a print product. And also, our print product still delivers revenue, still delivers an audience, still delivers, we still are able to develop our content with it. There's so many benefits with to our print publication. And for our newsstand sales, there's a lot of benefits as well. For one thing, the newsstand still is a revenue stream for us. For another thing, it's still a way of testing what our audience thinks about our product, about our editorial. We can find out pretty quickly with our newsstand sales how people are reacting to a particular cover look, to a particular editorial. And um, our advertisers still like to see their ad in a print publication on the newsstand. So there's a lot of reasons not to walk away from it, no matter how much we're gaining from other avenues and other channels of sale. So in the coming series of videos, which I'm going to tell you how to get to, um, I am going to give you some tips for building your newsstand sales, and in particular, for creating winning covers, covers that work, covers that sell your publication.